All right, uh, clarification, if you're watching this to learn how to build up a, a lane or build up a road, this is not the video for it. I'm actually asking the question, posting it in a couple groups to get some feedback in the comments or on Facebook. So the question is how to build up a lane, uh, in particular, slightly different than just pouring extra and more rock on it. Now, perhaps in time, if I actually do get the answer to the question, I'll make a follow-up video and explain what I did or what I learned. So you can subscribe if you'd like, but in the meantime, this is just an actual question. Okay, I want to start off. I, I have this tarp that was from a grain outdoor grain storage. Uh, the, it's just large bunkers where they have it all covered and strapped down with this tarp. So it's a kind of a thick tarp with some fibers through it. And uh, I was thinking if I perforate it, if I lay it out, because I have hundreds of feet of it, and if I lay it out and perforate it, could I create sort of a geo, a pseudo, a false geotextile fabric that they've used uh, to build roads before? Uh, the fabric is the idea to like let it drain, and it would help solve the issue here where where you see the tracks in this video. That is the existing lane where underneath that mud there is a rock bed, but everything on the left two thirds of the screen is new dirt that I put in. So I move the mailbox and widen the lane at the end of it so I can get bigger pieces of equipment or uh, semis down it. And so that is just dirt. And I th my thought was, if I scrape a little bit of that dirt off, lay down that tarp with it perforated so it lose the moisture, but keep the solid matter above it, and then put a little bit more dirt over that, and then bring in some large rock to form a bed that the idea would be... Uh, I don't have to keep putting in more rock and more rock and more rock as it sinks down. I'll uh, build the rock bed a little bit higher, closer to the surface. And then once I get the large rock down, put shallower rock on top of it uh, with the principal purpose being reducing the cost and material about the amount, amount of rock I need to bring in and uh, still uh, not create puddles of water where it traps moisture. So the tarp would be hold the rock, but lose the moisture. And then this path that you're seeing here would be, I might have enough tarp where I can actually build a path all the way back here. So during like a winter thaw, once the frost is out of the ground, you get this muddy mess and the tarp and rock combination would be able to maybe reduce the amount I'd have to spend on how much rock I'd have to bring in and uh, be able to get some access back to a building where it's kind of tough to get to when it's all that muddy. So if you think it'll work, let me know and appreciate your time and have a good day.